Hello YouTube, this is just a general shed update uh, kind of thing. I installed three new sockets. Uh, these ones are off the solar power. Uh, and I've got a hole drilled uh, to bring another cable up for another set of sockets here, which will be um, general like grid power as opposed to solar power. So I can swap them over whenever I want to. Um, it's actually just a flex that I've run across there. It's kind of dodgy. Um, waiting to get some nice trunking off the job um, plug it in um, it's actually plugged in up here um, so you can see we've drawn 0.28 kilowatts or 280 watts out of the battery bank so far inverter is on if I am um, if you see uh, I've got the LED or lights on on the uh, battery at the moment and you can see they're put in 12.4 watts if I unplug this without trying to unplug the uh, then the lights now go out and if I plug the, the plug back in uh, they will come back on hopefully there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm, as I've drawn off um, 280 watts so far I'm just going to give it another further push um, by way of a uh, kettle I'm just going to fill this up um, this isn't I haven't designed well I don't intend to use it for large loads like this uh, camping kettle. Um, can't undo the lid on the bottle now. So, 500 mil water. Ooh, it goes. Shut that up. Um, I'll put this up it's a little high so I can't actually uh, plug the kettle in. Uh, so the kettle's up there, I plug it in there, Ooh, and it's sprung to life. We're running at 980 watts, that's going to reduce as the voltage goes down, 12 and a half, 12.4, we probably won't make it to the end of this actually, we'll see the wattage climb. And I'm just going to leave this to run its course, the kettle's going to take a little while. And see how much we draw off the banks. Solar panel was only running 5 amps in, so it's no comparison there. Um, yeah, join me in a little bit. It does sound like it's just about to come to the boil. It seems to be holding up so far. It hasn't really dropped below 12.3. Ooh, 12.2, 12.3. I was expecting it to uh, cut off on the inverter. Um, down to 947 watts, so it was around a kilowatt. Let's uh, watch the kettle click off. Come on. We have rolling boil. At least it gives the inverter a chance to blow all the dust out of the uh, and the fans going nicely. See the cobwebs moving in the top corner. And here we go, ready for the rolling boil. It's quite down. Wait for that red light to go out. Steam. Condensation. And off. Oh. Alright, let's go and see how much uh, electricity we use to boil 500 ml of water. So, I'm quite interested. Uh, we're still running the 12 watts on the, on the lights. Uh, kilowatt. 0.34, so we've used, what's that, uh, point, oh, 60 watts to boil 500 ml of water, that is brilliant, and uh, we've already jumped back up to 12.6 volts, um, we're putting in 5 amp, still trying to get you to see that, I can't get quite a bit of light, ah, 
4.33 yes but I zoom out yeah so I'm quite happy with that uh, voltage rising um, it's gone up again Ooh, fair enough. oh well okay we use 70 watts so um, I'm quite happy with that um, I'm gonna try and find some other ways to put a load on this battery bank I'll be back shortly I decided in the end not to um, test it with anything else it is getting near the end of the day and uh, I want I want the batteries to stay relative, relatively fully charged so they don't doesn't cause any damage to them um, and I'll probably do a more substantial test uh, as in when I get the time I know there's going to be some sun <laughs> so um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video